Hey, here I am in London. I'm at the University of Royal Holloway with uh, Tim Unwin. You know him because he is the uh, chief editor of the book that we're reading on ICT4D. You might not also know, but he is just a leader in so many ways in, in the field of ICT4D. He's created the ICT4D Collective. Uh, there's a center now that has been created a lot, a lot through his initiative, his involvement. Just recently returned from the ICTD um, conference in Doha that was keynoted by Bill Gates, and I hope he'll give a summary of that when he talks to us as a class, but I wanted us to make the most use of our time with him. So I'm just creating this little clip so he can just just prepare you for, for our time. So here's just a couple questions. So here's Tim. <laughs> Hi, Clip. Hi, guys. Nice to be with you. Looking yeah. forward to next week. Yeah, so you're going to be talking with us, um, 20, uh, about 35 uh, graduate students from 20 different countries and uh, talking about this topic of ICT for D. What, what kind of, how do you want to make the most use of that time? Is there certain questions you want them to think of in advance or, or you know, how, how do you want to make use of that time together? I think we've only got a couple of hours and, and it's really, really important that everyone there thinks of the key questions they would like to ask. It's got to be an interactive session, um, you know, not things that you can read about in books. But if everyone could come up with sort of one question, uh, I guess 30 people in two hours means that they'd be, have to be very quick questions and, 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 and my reply is even quicker. But uh, if, if you could all think of something that, that you want to explore, that would be really good. I, I, I certainly don't want to put any particular content areas in mind, but I think um, you know, areas that you might like to explore would, would, would be how we can uh, get more global joined up approaches to ICT for D. I and mean, as you can imagine, a lot of my time is spent in fairly tedious high-level meetings and, and, and I often get frustrated about that. So that's an area you might explore. And, and I guess another thing that I would like to get out of it is, and I know you've, some of you have had problems in getting hold of the ICT for D book, um, let's forget about the sort of the technical aspects of it, it arriving on your uh, lap so you can read them. But, but it, it, I'd be really interested in, in knowing sort of what you think of the content and, and where there are areas you feel I might have you know, changed what I've written or you might like to explore why I've written what I have. Yeah, so, and you know, knowing Tim, he doesn't want it to be like some kind of, you know, platitudes or something. You can be controversial, you can challenge him, you can Not say... Not too cruel, you know, even aged <laughs> professors bleed, you know, don't forget that. Okay, so the second question I had for you, Tim, just because we have you here with us, you know, I'm fascinated by how much you do, you know, and how, how you know, the difference that you have made, but what is the ultimate outcome that you see from your work? Like, what, what do you want to have created you know, through all the things that you're doing. We, we spoke about that earlier a little bit, and, and I, I, it's strange, I've never thought about it really as a, as a sort of core objective. I know there are some people who set themselves ambitions as to what they must achieve by a certain age. I've, I've never been like that, and I, I like this notion, I think we may have touched on it before, of serendipitous rigour, um, you know, the, the being rigorous about things that happen serendipitously. But I, I, I guess in trying to answer your question and reflecting on it a little bit, um, you know, I guess what, what I want to do is to try and create a space, you know, be it here in the university with the, the collective and the centre, or, or, or more of a virtual space where people can come together to do exciting things. And you know, my strong belief is, is that we don't have enough high quality research in the field of ICT for and that's really why I set the, the centre and the collective up. So an opportunity, if, if people can sort of use my networks and my skills uh, and benefit from them in, in shaping a place where they can do the highest possible quality research for some of the most marginalised people in the world. And I think you know my own interests are particularly on you know, working with street kids and people with disabilities because I think ICTs can have a, an enormous transformatory effect on their lives. Um, but but that's my focus. And and if we can just you know create an environment where people can explore the exciting things that are happening at the edges of disciplines. Um, and ask the difficult questions and come up with innovative answers that will really make an impact um, on the lives of some of the poorest people in the world. Uh, you know, we have a moral responsibility to do that and, and I guess that's what drives me. Awesome. All right. So I guess the challenge for us then is to come up with very good questions so we can make the most use out of our time with Tim. And just thank you so much, Tim, for, for both the effort that you put in so far and for the time you're going to spend with us. Look forward to it very much.